In this video, I'm going to show you how Poison ran the best defense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player in Madden 20. And really what we're trying to accomplish here on YouTube is we're trying to teach you both things that we know, but also things that we've learned from other players in the community. And so to do that, again, what we're trying to do here is study some of the guys in the club championships. So if you want to go ahead and click the subscribe button, that is completely free for you to do that. And what that does is it allows you to know whenever we release a new video on YouTube. Okay, we release new videos every day at 8 p.m. or I'm sorry not 8 p.m. but eight videos every single day several different types of tactics and tutorials that you can use that really will help you become a better player so J wall ran trips tied in in fact he ran trips tied in uh, pretty dang good uh, obviously he ended up winning the entire uh, tournament and really ran this offense I think the best that anyone could have ran this offense uh, he's the best trips tight end player that I've ever seen and I would I would say he's been the best trips tight end player uh, for multiple multiple years and one of his plays that he loved to run was the play PA shot wheel that was probably his go-to play um, as far as beating man-to-man -man coverage that's his primary play that he really liked to use now what poison did on defense I thought was super super incredible uh, in fact he held probably the best offensive player in the entire community to just 10 I think it was just 10 points it might have been a little bit more than that but what he did was in what he did it with was he did it with his two four five double a gap scheme that uh, a lot of people in the community would say is one of the top defenses. We saw it in this. We saw it in this um, club championship. But this defense is just insane. It's really, really good. And obviously, we're going to break down a little bit as to how he made it so good. Now, a lot of people say, you know, oh, he's just running mid blitz. Oh, he's just running this, or he's just running that. That's not really the case. Um, at least in my opinion, that's not exactly what's happening. You're, you're, what you're missing is you're not noticing the adjustments that go into these guys' uh, game plans. So we're going to break down a little bit about his defense. Like I said, uh, his defense gave J-Wall fits, absolute fits, um, in my opinion. And if you actually go back through and watch, now 245 double A-gap's not, you know, again, if it, it ran by the right person, it could be the best defense in the world. Ran by the wrong person, it could be the best defense in the world. In my personal opinion, 335 wide is the best defense, and I have a full ebook out on that, which you can get in the description of this video if you want to. But this is a good defense as well, and uh, you're going to notice that really what Poison did that I thought was really powerful was really mixed and matched his zones and his man coverage um, really, really well. So, anyway, let's dive into this and talk a little bit about his adjustments. All right, guys, so I have 245 double A gap up over here in practice mode and we're going to come out in mid blitz every single play now the reason i like to come out in mid blitz every play is because i think it gives me the same base look it gives me the same core look that people are going to have to deal with and the core the core look right here is to basically shade coverage outside and shade coverage down and essentially press coverage right this is kind of the core the core look a lot of people have been spreading their line and then kind of standing and hovering on the running back side here and if the running back goes out on a route then obviously they go with him and if the running back doesn't go out on a route then the pressure you see will scream in this the blitz is super super simple um it's really 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 effective though again all you're doing is you're just putting your user on a blitz okay and then you're literally just going to spread your line i like to crash my line out and then this is it right here and i'm just going to stand right here come down and you see there if the running back blocks it's pretty much instant pressure even if the running back is blocking which people know from trip side in you can really only protect on one side you can't protect on two sides uh, which makes this scheme that much better in my opinion when it talks about you know facing trip side in you know they're going to have their hands full trying to block this defense um, so again you see right here just quick instant pressure right off the edge and as you can see we're going to be able to come in now all that to say what you're going to notice as we go throughout this game plan is that this defense is easily adaptable meaning it can very very much so adapt to your opponent so one of the things that you could do is you could do something like this so let's say you're in mid blitz right but let's say you want to switch and you want to run something else right so you're going to audible to the cover one hole 
And now uh, what you're going to do, I actually like to just adjust out of mid blitz, really. Uh, and I think that's what kind of Poison did in this game plan. But basically we're just going to call this coverage. And now what we're going to do is instead of, of playing this, you know, kind of the way we've been playing it, we're going to do a little bit of ad adjusting. So we're going to put the outside guy in a deep half. And then we're going to basically drop two of those cloud flats on the outside. And then what I like to do is man up on the tight end, man up on the running back. Uh, and then again, you've got your, your coverage here, right? So I've got the outside guy. Uh, I've got the outside outside guy here manned up. So as you can see here, now we have two zones on that side. So really all we're worrying about here is essentially the, the, the crossing route. If there's a crossing route, that's where we're going to go. But we have everything else pretty much taken away. And then we're just going to lurk the middle of the field, as you can see right here. These two plays in tandem were really, really important for the way Lord, uh, for the way Poison uh, played his defense, and and Poison played really, really good defense, right? I mean, he held really, truly, I believe the probably the best player in the game. Uh, I don't think that can be disputed anymore. He held him to not so good of passing. I mean, it really was remarkable what he was able to do. And again, you could do the same thing out of cover one hole if you wanted to. The big key here is if you're going to do it out of cover one hole, make sure you put that middle linebacker on a deep blue, and then you just want to shade outside and shade over the top. And then what I like to do is drop two purple zones on the outside. we got two interior blitzers, and that's it. And as you can see here, we got max coverage, and we're going to basically handle you know anything that they're going to be able to bring at us. That's what I was seeing him do a lot of. And obviously, you know, they're going to blitz some. They're going to play coverage some. That's that's really the, the, the whole point of the defense is that it's very deceptive. It's very, very deceptive. It's hard to identify exactly what they're going to do. So you might send everybody out on a route. If they send people on a route, your responsibility is you have to go get the running back. If they send the running back on a route, you have to go guard him. If you don't go guard the running back, nobody's going to guard him, and you're going to feel really, really, really bad because you're going to give up easy, easy reads. But if you put somebody out on a route to go guard the running back and the running back blocks, well, then you just basically come in a little bit, let them occupy you, and then you go jump into the middle of the field and play coverage. That's the simplicity of the scheme. There's really nothing more to it than that. But it's really, really effective when you ran it, run it properly because um, – you're going to see that this thing really, really works well. Another thing that you can do out of this, let's say you want to adjust from this look right here, right? Well, you can absolutely do that. You can put a zone to two of these guys on the field, maybe a deep half like this, you know, and essentially play hard flat coverage. Well, now, you know, you can kind of do some different things like that, and it'll throw them off a little bit. So, and I saw Lord Ke or uh, saw Poison doing that a lot as well, but. Anyways, that's how he runs the best uh, two four five defense or, or double A gap defense in the entire game. So, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about this defense, shoot me a text message. My number's in the description. It's also in the top left hand corner of your screen. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to get my personal defense um, that I believe is the best defense in the game, it's a three three five wide defense. That link is in the description. It's in my opinion, it's a little bit better than this defense because it can do all of this, but it can also also stop the run and it can also be a little bit more effective in my opinion from a uh, from a pass coverage perspective so anyways all that to say thanks for watching and we will see you tonight on stream at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time